All right, let's talk about how to use USMLE materials to prepare for NEET PG exam. One thing which is sure that if you are preparing for NEET PG, you cannot study everything. You need some material which is concise and give you all the important details which you can revise in last few days. And what details you are looking for is key diagnostic information of certain diseases, antibodies, and gene mutations or chromosome numbers and translocations, so and so forth, like for example, antibiotic of choice. And one such book is, you all can guess right now, is First Aid, okay? Now, First Aid is very, very important. Each word is very, very high yield and images and diagrams are, are mentioned in such a way that they are worth thousand words, okay? So first aid is very, very important. And I'm gonna share my screen on how actually you should be reading first aid if you are really preparing for NEET PG examination. So let me just share my screen here. So what you see here is let's say, this is an example of various heart murmurs. So right now, let's say I'm talking about aortic stenosis, what you really want to focus on is to decode each and every word. Like for example, crescendo, decrescendo, ejection, murmur. That means I'm, I'm talking about systolic murmur, which is crescendo, decrescendo. And this is S1 heart sound, this is S2 heart sound. And you can know exactly what is crescendo and decrescendo. And it's louder at the heart base and radiates to carotids. Now you want to mark this. If they are mentioning specifically that this is radiating to carotids, there should be some other condition which has murmur, systolic murmur, which does not radiate to carotids, like for example, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So HCM. So HCM does not radiate to carotid, whereas aortic, aortic stenosis does radiate to carotids. And then you can go on and read pulses parvus at, at tardis so you can use your neat pg material and annotate your annotate your first aid accordingly so that will in the end give you a material which is mentioned uh, which is actually formed and written by you and it's easier for you to revise in the end okay so that was a quick demo and finally of, of course if you are using first aid um, in the last part of the first aid you'll have a section for rapid review so this is a section for rapid review I also used for my USMLE exam. Like for example, what's your diagnosis if a patient is having gout, intellectual disability, self-mutilating behavior in a boy? So that's Leshnian syndrome. And the reason that they mentioned boy is because it's X-linked recessive. So you can make mental network connection. And this is a very good, uh, you know, section of classic presentation. So that's something you want to go through. The other thing I would say, invest in basic science subject if you want to master clinical medicine, right? Clinical medicine and other relevant questions. So if you invest good in first year subjects like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and then in second year like microbiology, pharmacology, pathology, that will pay you good dividends when you're preparing for medicine. And one such example would be, I would say, what's the most common organism to cause osteomyelitis? So if you know that Staph aureus, then you'd automatically know in medicine that uh, if you are seeing any patient with osteomyelitis, then you know you have to cover Staph aureus and you know you have to cover MRSA. So the antibiotic of choice would be vancomycin, so and so forth. So investing in basic science would pay you good dividends in the end. And Third one, I would say pathology is one of the major subjects uh, in any exams, be it USMLE or NEET or PLAB or AMC. So one such good resource, I would say pathoma is good. And for USMLE, chapter one to three are very high yield for pathoma. And if you are anyways preparing for USMLE, please do check USMLE Strike app and USMLE Strike website. We have step one courses, we have step two and step three courses as well. And uh, we also have, if you are applying for match, we also have uh, interview preparation, CV editing services, and unlimited support until you match. So please check out USMLE Strike website for that. The fourth point is, if you are studying microbiology, one of the very important and good resource I find is Sketchy Micro. I still remember those sketches. They are very, very good. So even if you are a uh, a textual learner, please go through a few videos of Sketchy Micro and see if that really resonates with you. I still remember those sketches and it's still helpful in clinical setting. And if you are really a visual learner, Sketchy also has Sketchy Farm and Sketchy 
pathology and all those sketchy stuff but you also want to limit yourself in number of sketches you have to remember right so try sketchy micro which is very good so i really really recommend that and then the the fifth point i would mention is clinical vineyard so if you are now neat pg is moving towards clinical vineyard based exam right so if you are practicing u world that has clinical vineyards whether it's step 1 or step 2 so if you if you master those clinical vineyards clinical vineyards in neat pg would be just a cake walk for you and then um, if you are preparing for neat pg you have to of course use neat pg q bank and stick to i would say one resource and one q bank regardless of what exam you are preparing if you are sticking to focused resource like for example one q bank for neat pg that's uh, that's good enough and then finally i would say annotate everything in your first aid or any base book you are using if you are using first aid you can annotate annotate extra information what you are finding uh, through internet and uh, what you are finding through other u world q bank or pathoma or anything you think that's high yield just annotate in your first aid and that's in the end a material which is prepared by you and revise that few days before your uh, exam and that's that's going to be very high yield okay thank you for watching if you really like this video please support by liking this video and share this with your friends who are preparing for neat pg exam and also share this with your friends who you think are preparing for usmd exams thank you and subscribe